good. All right. What's up, everyone? Back again. Week 11? Yeah. Right? All right. Let's just start by saying college football we are horrendous at. But yep. through week 10, Nagy is in first place. 45-42-2, and two, negative .67 units. I am 50-58-2, negative 10.09 units. Ryan is... 46 and 54, negative 11.44 units. Zach is 40, 50, and 3, negative 15.85 units. Um, we won't really be having an NFL show, so I'll just read those off right now. NFL, we're actually pretty good. Uh, shout out Nagy. Last week he went 6 0 and 2 plus 6 units. Uh, that's as solid as he can get. But through week nine, Ryan's in first place at 30 and 25 plus 3.8 u- units. Nagy's in second, 40, 35, and 3. Plus 2.05 units. I'm in third, 29, 29, and three, minus 1.73 units. Zach is in fourth, 22, 24, and two, 3.81 units. So everyone's a lot better there. Um, Nagy is on a two losing streak, DOD for college. And then I'm on a one for NFL. Ryan and Zach, you're on a one for college also. And that's, that's standing so far. So. Um. All right. Let's get into it. college football rankings. I'm gonna rank, or I'm gonna say the top ten that they ranked last night. We can get into that. Um. Or you want to talk about? We can talk about the weekend first. Uh, Georgia, Tennessee, big game. Georgia obviously won. Clemson, Notre Dame, Notre Dame beat their breaks off. Um. TCU finally got some respect. LSU, Bama, LSU, Brian Kelly. Um. It kind of made sense when Notre Dame finally got a top five win that Brian Kelly was going to do something. Okay. So, I mean, that just made some sense. Uh, it's not a top five win, though, for Brian Kelly. It's not. You're right. It's not. But uh, <laughs> You got Alabama on a down year. They did. But, I mean, Notre Dame got Clemson in a down year. That's okay. Still a top five win. Like, <laughs> I, I, I like, I see all these people saying this, but, like, Notre Dame was – Plus three. It's not like Clemson was like an unranked Notre Dame team was plus three to Clemson. But still, after the year that they've had, it's as big as a win as you possibly can get, honestly. Like losing to fucking Marshall and Stanford. They whatever. Went for Freeman. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Regardless. Um yeah. okay. Thoughts from over the weekend. Go ahead, um I, my biggest thing is how good Georgia is. I mean, yeah. we, how they – how Oregon is back within the top four – or top, or their top five, right? Top five? Uh, they're five, I think. Five. No, they're they, six. Like, they're six. They're so they're, six. They're, they're six. six. I mean, we all saw week one of college football when Georgia beat the brakes off of Oregon. For now, Oregon to be back to number six. And to be honest, they beat, like, Tennessee pretty handily, too because Tennessee did score late to make it like 27-13, or else it would have been like 27-6. to Yes, but Tennessee also missed a touchdown when it was 27-13. to That could have been 27-20. Yeah. Georgia definitely dominated that game more. But here's my point to the whole Oregon thing. I agree with you. Georgia is that good. But, like, do you think we're giving Oregon a little bit too much credit for just beating shitty Pac-12 teams? Uh, yeah, I feel like you could definitely make that argument because, I mean, I feel like any of us in this car, like any of us right now would say that probably Bama beats Oregon. Yeah. Like Georgia, Tennessee all beat Oregon, Michigan, Ohio State all beat Oregon. Like I, I feel pretty confident all saying that. Right. But the, I mean, to your point though, that I mean, beating someone and beating someone by 46 are totally two different yeah, things. I, they, I mean, yeah. I am. Oregon week one like they they made Bo Nix look like he never should have been playing in that game and now he's having an unreal season for sure for sure Brian uh I would probably go with Alabama and Clemson being it's weird it's also kind of nice uh yeah. having a a newish top four Obviously, your Georgia and Ohio State still in there, but yeah, but but DC everyone, everyone always says Ohio State, 
they don't make it every year though. I know they're always no, out there. Yeah, they're, but like, they're always like in the mix though. Right. But like even them though, like I would say them in Georgia, but like Georgia's kind of recent. Ohio State's not always there, but to your yeah, I mean was the last time Alabama and Ohio State combined weren't were out of it this way. It probably had to have been never. Both of them, I'm saying. Yeah, I think this is <laughs> – actually, this is uh, – I saw a stat today. I think this will be – unless something wild happens, I think this will be the first time in eight years that either Alabama or Clemson won't be in the national championship. Which is absurd. Yeah. Like, yeah, wild absurd. To think but um, – uh, So, yeah, yeah I mean, props to TCU and props to Oregon for – not mailing it in after week one because I'm sure that would have been pretty easy to do. And uh, good point. Props, props to the Pac-12 for representing. They got like three or four teams in the top 15. Yeah, and honestly, I said like Oregon's beating up on bad Pac-12 teams. But regardless, I feel like this year more than ever, teams just keep losing, and the good teams in the Pac-12 have been winning. So like what, I mean, whatever you want to say, they're going to match up and be good wins at some point. Right. So like UCLA keeps winning, Utah keeps winning. Like it would have been a lot bigger if Utah never would have fucking lost at Florida, but like yeah. Oregon keeps winning into your point of packing in. And yeah, you lose 49 to three. Like that's definitely a recipe to be like, okay, let's do our typical pack 12 thing and go eight and four, nine and three. Um, But it is nice to see just like, like you said, TCU, Michigan Ohio State's again going to be like a massive game. Even Tennessee losing, not having to play in the SEC championship yeah. is like they're right there. Like win out, you're good. Um, USC, <laughs> UCLA, Oregon. Um, I mean, it, it'll be interesting. A lot of big games to come up. Like for the Pac-12, though. I, like USC looks the worst right now on paper. Like their defense is so horrendous and they haven't beaten anyone, but like they get to play UCLA. Um, who do they play this weekend? It's like uh, Colorado. Okay. So shit. Yeah. But then they play UCLA and Notre Dame and Notre Dame plays Navy and BC. So like though, I mean, well, knock on wood because Notre Dame's lost a shitty teams this year. Never but, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, you never the way, know. The way it's looking is Notre Dame will be eight and two going into that, or what eight and three going into that game. Top 20 easily. They're already number 20. That could be a huge game for the Pac 12 slash USC if USC doesn't lose going into that game. Um, but right like, now, you, uh, Georgia versus LSU be the SEC title. Are they on the opposite sides? Yes, yeah. yes. Wow. And LSU That's, can LSU can still LSU can lose one more time, and they still go wow. because Bama lost to Tennessee and LSU. So That's right. That's wild. So, like, Bama, like, the whole – like, would there ever be a chance for a two-loss team to get in? I think – is crazy, especially with so many one loss teams now. So many people would have to lose. Yeah. But Bama not being able to play in the SEC championship that throws like everything out of like maybe a two loss team get in because LSU still is going to go to the SEC championship. Um, yeah. But TCU, TCU is an interesting team. Like I didn't understand necessarily the committees. I thought TCU should have been ranked ahead of Alabama last week, but to rank Bama ahead of them and then have TCU jump Tennessee for losing at Georgia. Like, I just don't see how yeah. that like necessarily, because TCU didn't really look that impressive at home against Texas tech. Like, so yeah, it's just a weird week to week jump. Um, other than that. Yeah. I kind of agree with you. I thought Alabama and Clemson both should have been out of the top 10. I think Alabama yeah. has a like Ole Miss should have been in the top 10. Alabama has a perfect chance to play their way in the top 10. USC, UCLA, like their resumes, like UCLA's resume is so much better than USC's. So UCLA's I don't understand. Like what, 12? UCLA's 12, USC's eight. Yeah. USC has no ranked yeah. wins. UCLA has two. Like, I just don't understand that one. Um, and then Penn State's quietly helping Ohio State and Michigan because, every, like I said, everyone keeps losing. They keep winning. It's a good win. North Carolina at 15. Uh, if season ended right now, Tulane would be the non-Power 5 representative at New Year's 6. That's pretty cool to see. That's a team that we haven't really seen, also to your point on that. Um, Think about if Illinois still beats Michigan. That would mess <laughs> like, up a lot. That would mess up the entire thing. 
And then Michigan beat Ohio State. Ohio State, yeah. And then yeah. Hey, dude, what the fuck happened then? Then I think all right, so I, I was kind of holding this off because I think I'm gonna get some major side eye here, but I don't think the ACC is out of it yet. Reagan, yeah. Clemson 10th, they're not. They are no, not yeah. North oh, Carolina. Yeah. yeah, if North Carolina won out, yeah, I, I agree with that. But like like, but I think it's chances are <laughs> I know that Pac 12 looks really good right now. I just have a feeling they're, they're gonna cannibalize themselves. Well, don't they they still like a lot of them like USC has they to play, all have UCLA, to like play each other. And then like, I don't think there's play. a chance. I don't think there's a a decent chance that USC wins out between. Yeah, but also, also Utah's out of it. You know what I mean? Like they're yeah, not going to make yeah. it regardless. So then it's between Oregon, UCLA, and USC. I don't see USC winning out either. And then Oregon has to play one of them in the Pac-12 championship. Let's say they play USC. That's a tough game, even if USC loses, whatnot. They play UCLA again. Beating a team twice is tough. So like. That might knock the Pac-12 out of it. You know, agreed with you on that. And the wildest thing is, like, we said this last week, and I, th- I said it, like, every week. How in the hell is Illinois' only loss to IU week one? Well, they, they lost, lost this like, past week. They just lost. Oh, well, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. But, like, <laughs> you can also – you can kind of combine it. How the hell are their two losses, yeah. IU – I mean, the IU loss now looks, like, way worse than Michigan State. Yeah. Michigan State, like, might yeah. make a bowl game. But, like, IU might go three and nine. And it's, like – do you see the line for IU this. Ohio State this weekend? It's like thirty eight, right, or forty? Yeah, I think it's up to forty now. Yeah, but yeah, Ryan, to your point, like if Clemson and North Carolina win out, let's say they both go into that game eleven and one. Yeah, yeah. You're looking at it also to the point of like even if other teams beat each other, that's a really good win for whoever wins that game. That's gonna be a top top ten win in a in a title game win. Right. And you're also talking Clemson, like at the end of the year, gets to play South Carolina. That's not some pushover four and eight team anymore. Even yeah. I know it's Usually not going to be South like a top. Stinks. It's not like a top twenty five win, but like it's a better win than normal. So it's like, I I think them ranking Clemson at ten a hundred percent does not knock the ACC out. I think yeah, a lot still has that. to happen. Um, well, because yeah, I think if you look at it this way, the Big Ten's. Let's be honest, the. The Chris or Thanksgiving weekend game in mm-hmm. Michigan Ohio State. That's your ticket to the playoff, right? Um, yeah. The SEC is going to send one, so that's there's two. I don't. Are think you saying send one? Send one for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and then I don't think there's a guarantee that TCU goes undefeated, which I doubt they do. Agree. There's, I think there's a less than fifty fifty chance. The I don't know. That's tough. I don't think the Pac-12 champ will be undefeated either. So let's just, yeah, I'm assuming the SEC will send two. And then, yeah, that leaves probably a one-loss ACC champ versus a one-loss Pac-12 champ. Well, no, I mean, you do think – But all the Pac-12 teams have one loss already. Oh, that's right. So, like, that's where it's like if they all lose one more game. Like, that's why it's so – that's why it's so crazy to me that like, like if Bama somehow was able to go, now they're not. Like that's why I think it's so out of the question. But like, if they were somehow to able to go to the SEC championship game at two losses, I could almost see them getting in because of all these scenarios that we are saying. Like, yeah, I, I don't like they would get in over a two loss Pac twelve team, but like, it doesn't, doesn't yeah. matter because they can't get in because LSU, but. Yeah, I mean, to your point, you're going to look at it, and like you said, it's going to be Ohio State, Michigan, and then it's going to be, uh, let's say, Tennessee and Georgia go. Let's say TCU doesn't win out. I don't care what anyone says. Like, as good as TCU is, is like, let's say Clemson wins out. Like, they still have a win against North Carolina State. They'd have a win against North Carolina. Yeah, they got beat, but, like, at that point, Notre Dame might be a top 15 team. So it's not like it's a horrendous loss. So – yeah, I mean, it's going to be crazy. And, like, I think we've noticed, like, TCU's undefeated. They haven't really been getting much respect from the committee. So, it's – I don't know. It's going to be super interesting. Um, Ohio State, though, I will say, is maybe some of the biggest Notre Dame fans because of these scenarios also. Because if they yeah, somehow oh yeah. drop the ball to Michigan and 
all these teams lose. Notre Dame like, beats well, like USC and stuff. Right. And it's like, well, we beat Notre Dame. We beat Penn State. Like, you know, I don't know. Like, so it's just – there's so much to have to be said. I think this might be the toughest year for the committee by the end of the year. Like, they have to actually do their yeah. job. That's the part where there, – There's going to be – there's going to be one – yeah. There's going to be one or two teams that, like, definitely deserve a chance – to get in and like there's gonna be one or two teams this year i think that are gonna like just get screwed over just based off like maybe even popularity yeah what are you gonna say ryan well i that's the problem with michigan is i feel like they've put so much stock into one game being the ohio state game because the big 10 is ohio state and michigan this year with like a little bit of sprinkle a little bit of penn state in there but Mm -hmm. a penn state win by itself is not enough yeah, and for sure. Like, if Ohio State drops the ball to Michigan, I feel like they still have, like you said, they might have an outside chance to maybe go in as the four spot in the yeah. playoff because they they tried to schedule a out of conference game with Notre Dame and Michigan. Right. I, I don't know; they're just not even trying anymore. So, for they, sure, they're, they're, for they're sure, I'm hurting themselves. I think. I think. I think if Michigan loses one game, they're automatically out. Honestly, yeah. I really do. Yeah. If if Ohio State does and Notre Dame continues to win, I think that's a huge resume th- on your on your schedule. And to your point about the Big Ten, it's like they're normally not great, right? Like I get that, or they have some good teams and stuff. But like you normally have like a Wisconsin ranked and Iowa ranked, Iowa. like. Yeah. Like, you know, like teams ranked 16 through 25 that at least give you a good win. This yeah. year, they all suck. I guess Illinois yeah. kind of fits that mold, but like Illinois loses to Michigan. They're at, I was going to say, Illinois loses to Michigan. Yeah. They're out of the top 25. So it's like yeah. that you you still are going to lose that. And then you throw in that they played the Big Ten title game, they'll have four losses. So it's like you're not really getting any of these other teams besides Penn State, which is very unlike the Big Ten. So might end up hurting Ohio State, and Michigan, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think the committee it's going to be like their toughest year. If some things, they're probably praying that like I don't know, Tennessee wins out, Georgia wins out, Michigan, Ohio State winner, and then like either TCU wins out or the Pac-12 champ wins out. Like just so they yeah. can chalk it up like this is simple, easy, good. We're here because. I mean, all these scenarios, let's say somehow LSU beat Georgia in the SEC championship. Yeah. They're wow. both in, and that knocks Tennessee yeah. out. Yeah. And that knocks Tennessee out, who went to LSU and won by 100. So it's like, yeah. it's such a crazy fucking year. Uh, Unless somehow, well, that's tough. I guess the only way I could see three SEC teams going is if the Pac-12, Big 12, and ACC all knock each other out. Which right, because like very well possible, it is very well possible. <laughs> yeah, like dude, you have you have three you SEC teams Georgia in Ohio and State. LSU you all in the playoff, dude. Um, this is this this is this the, is the year, year. Yes, this, this is the year they finally have a reason to expand the playoff. Is because yeah, they do. I would agree. I think everyone could yeah. would agree that like Georgia probably is going to win it all, but like. No joke, two through twelve could all play. Like yeah. legit yeah. all play. So like yeah. normally I think you have it where it's like okay, one to like four teams, one yeah. to five teams. Yeah. Or like one to three would beat the yeah. shit out of four through twelve. And it's like yeah. yeah. After watching Ohio State play at Northwestern, I understand the wind and everything. But dude, it's Northwestern. Like they could lose to LSU. They could lose they could beat all those teams, don't get me wrong. But yeah, so it's I agree with you. I think this is the one year where it's like, yeah, twelve makes sense. Like this would be in all the games would probably be awesome. The way college football's yeah. been going in this year, like they probably would be awesome. Yeah. Um, all right, so this weekend, kind of a shitty slate, makes sense after like all the great games last weekend. Yeah. Um, LSU at Arkansas is kind of a big game because what's LSU going to do? That's a huge thing. How do they, like, how do they answer? How do they respond? Bama Ole Miss. I think, you know, we've all talked about how Bama's pretty much done. This is a huge game for Ole Miss because Ole Miss wins. Then they can make the argument. What about us? We're, yeah. we could go 11 and one. 
what about us? So this is a ginormous game for Ole Miss. Obviously a big game for Bama just for their season. But Ole Miss, this is like do or die right here. You got to play. If Ole Miss wins and LSU loses, does that mean Ole Miss is, going to, is representing the West? They would because LSU would then have yeah, two. Ole Miss would only have so. one. So, yeah. like, this is a ginormous game. Um, and then UCF Tulane. That Honestly, whoever wins that probably goes to the New Year's Six Bowl game out of the non-Power yeah. Five. So, I mean, that's a big game in its own. Um, and then Washington plays at Oregon. That'll be interesting. Um, I mean, that's just, like, one of your scenarios of the Pac-12, though. Like, what if Washington beats Oregon? Oregon can beat which anyone could, else. Which could easily happen, too. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, like, this is yeah. a huge step in the – can is the Pac-12 going to eat each other alive or play well? Yep. And then big one TCU at Texas. This is like TCU's big game. They lose this. Does it? It, it probably ruins the Big Twelve chances of going to the playoffs. So like each week's a big game. Um. So yeah, some big games, but not as much as last week. Uh. We'll see. You guys ready for your cards? Yep. Go ahead, Zach. Let me pull mine up real quick. All righty. First play, I got Cincy minus five and a half. Colorado, USC over 66. USC's defense is a trash can. Um, and they, their offense can score at will, especially against the bad Colorado team. Uh, Tennessee minus 20. I'm looking for them to rebound pretty heavily after the loss to Georgia. Uh, LSU minus three and a half. Rutgers plus nine and a half. I just think it's a lot of points. <coughs> Illinois minus six and a half. See how they can rebound. IU Ohio State over 58 and a half. I, I think alone Ohio State might hit that themselves. Uh, Clemson minus seven. Oh, I already said my do or, deep, do or die, by the way. Oregon, Washington over 72 and a half. I just want to, I just want to see points galore in that game. Uh, Ryan? Uh, right now, my card is pretty short, but I will be adding to it. Um, Clemson minus seven against Louisville. Kansas State plus two and a half and money line against their at Baylor. Texas TCU over 65 and a half. And I have Arkansas plus four against LSU. That is a low card. All right. I got. I'm with you, Zach. Cincinnati minus five at home. Yeah. Uh, USC, Colorado. I'll take that over with you. Colorado's so bad. USC might score 50. All you'll need is like yeah. one or two touchdowns from Colorado. Um, whew. Pitt minus four and a half at Virginia. Probably going to hate that, but I'll take it. Um Let's go Illinois minus six and a half at home against Purdue. Arkansas plus four. Arkansas money line plus 140. That line just doesn't make sense. Arkansas just lost at home to Liberty. LSU just beat Alabama. But I'm going to trust Vegas real quick. Um, Let's see what else. Also, Miami is the worst college football team ever. I, dude, I didn't know how bad they lost to Florida State till Sunday, and I saw the box score. Dude, they are so bad. Oh it's yeah, that that's bad. App State minus one, uh, Tulane minus one and a half. Tulane money line minus one twenty five. Um, Iowa Wisconsin, like what the? I don't oh, fuck that. What's the over under in that game? Iowa, Wisconsin, 34 yeah. and a half. Oh my God. Kansas plus three and a half. Kansas money line plus 145. Baylor minus two and a half. <sighs> North Carolina plus three and a half. North Carolina plus 145. I just think Wake is absolutely horrendous now. Um, I'm going to go Auburn minus one and a half. Don't bet that game. I mean, that's just Auburn fucking a and What a shit game. All right, and then my do or die. I already said my do or die. It's LSU minus three and a half. Or it might be minus four and a half. I think it's Ryan's four now, four. yeah. 
Yeah. Ryan? I have uh, North Carolina plus three and a half as my do or die. Wake's just not good. I agree with you on that. Wake's I like just Sam not Hartman good. a lot, but they're, they're kind of falling off the bus. Yeah. My do or die is Army plus nine. They play at Troy. I just don't think Troy will be able to stop the option, so – that's my pick. Um, all right, those are our picks. They'll be tweeted up, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. Zach, you have – the floor is yours for 30 seconds to rant about Justin Fields. Oh, 30 seconds. He well, you can go as long as you want, as long as you don't cut out. Yeah. <laughs> yep, here we go. <laughs> no, I just uh, – me, We can't – we haven't heard a word a you s- fan, Me being a Bears fan, I'm a, I'm a homer here. Uh the Bears. Wait, really? Fuck. No, now we can. can. Now we can. Now we can. Now yeah. we can. Now we can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so no, I just, my thing is the Bears have scored 31 points, averaging 31 points over the last three Uh-oh. games against some pretty like the Cowboys defense, very comparable. Is it cutting me out again? No, you're good now. Whatever. Fuck it. All I know is Justin Fields. I'm all in. Give this man an offensive line. Give him some receivers. St. Brown just, oh, my God, the drop on Sunday. Claypool was mugged. That's rape in some countries, what they did to him. <laughs> that wasn't called. It's just, don't get me wrong, he's got to prove it still with his arm. But with his athleticism right now, I mean, he's just running away from guys. It's insane. It's yeah. actually insane to watch. It is insane. Um, Zach also had a very good weekend. Won some money. He, because he's such a nice guy, he is giving everyone on the pod <laughs> a fifteen dollar free parlay. So I appreciate um, it. Yeah, we uh, we won a we won a nice little Powerball of fifty uh, k. Everyone, uh, like so, subscribe to Victory Lab. So everyone, hope that our parlays hit. But that's our NFL doc for this week. We will have NFL picks, but uh, Nagy's a, the big NFL guy, and he's not here tonight. But we will – this will be on YouTube, obviously, if you're watching this. But go check out our picks on Twitter. Ryan will have more picks. Um, and pray for our picks because our college fucking picks are horrendous. Yeah, yeah very bad. bad. But that's all for tonight, folks. Peace. Peace.